uh, Inspector Generals, I certainly want to wish, uh, welcome you and thank you for your thoughtful testimony that was uh, delivered well in advance of this hearing, which was, which was very helpful. In, in preparing this hearing, uh, it, it was interesting because working with Senator Carper, we've, we've issued a mission statement for this committee. It's pretty simple to enhance the economic and national security of America. But within that, we've also listed a lot of priorities in terms of what, what this committee is about. Uh, our third priority under the governmental affairs uh, section of this committee was to identify, reduce, eliminate duplication, waste, fraud, and abuse within government. And when you, obviously, when you take a look at the Inspector General's uh, uh, authorization language, that's really what you're about. And two weeks ago, we held a, a, a hearing with the Government Accountability Office. And at that hearing, I said, particularly for this committee, uh, that agency is, is one of our favorite agencies. Uh, not to slight you gentlemen, because within the agencies, within the departments, certainly the offices of Inspector General are just crucial for, for our mission and for uh, really accomplishing something we all agree on. Uh, I don't care whether you're Republican or Democrat, whether you're a big government person or somebody who's a little bit more toward limited government. What government we, we have, we all want it to be as efficient and as effective as possible. And that is certainly the role that you play within, within your departments and your agencies. Uh, in the GAO hearing, uh, just in two years, the recommendations that uh, GAO had, had made resulted in about $40 billion worth of savings. And, and in the course of the hearing, as we were hearing additional recommendations, uh, just a back of the envelope calculation showed us about $100 billion worth of potential savings there. And, and looking through your testimony, it's, it's looking also like you know, with your efforts, we're, we're saving hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars as well. So th this is, I think, from my standpoint, uh, an important hearing. Uh, we certainly want to make sure that the inspector, the offices of Inspector General remain independent, that you have full access to the information that is required, uh, and, and we are committed to helping any way we can legislatively. I know uh, Senator McCaskill and, and Senator Grassley have been working on a uh, Inspector General reform bill. I want to be fully supportive of that. Uh, I think we're looking at uh, hopefully introducing that uh, later this week uh, with an awful lot of in input uh, from, from this hearing. So this is very timely. Uh, we're going to want to use your, your uh, testimony and your advice in terms of how we can craft that. Um, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that uh, Senator Carper will be a, a willing partner in that as well. And uh, speaking of Senator Carper, I'd like to turn it over for your opening comments.